What's up, developers? This is Sheldon. Welcome back to LSE Tutorials by Sheldon. Today, we're going to talk about my new intro video for my video tutorials, which is kind of cheating because I'm a developer, not a user experience or a UI designer. So when I try to create the animation, I always start thinking from if I can directly create an app to do some animation. And at the end of the day, actually, I found this framework quite interesting. It is called Lati and it is built by Airbnb surprisingly because I never know Airbnb has such a good open source framework that you can easily, I mean, integrate it not only in iOS but also in JavaScript or Android app. So the idea or the animation that I stole is actually this part. This framework is taking the idea of transferring JSON files into animations. So why JSON files? If you guys have heard Photoshop, basically this company is from Adobe and they have another very popular animation software called After Effects. And in After Effects, you can create very fancy or lightweight animations. And at the end of the day, you can export your animation into .json files. And that's why Airbnb created this framework. Basically, they give you the ability to play animations using .json files. I think this is quite interesting because more designers are now using After Effects to create animations. And there are so many open source and free resources you can use in the internet. But as I said, I was taking advantage of this part. And if you guys see my simulator, I can type iOS e tutorial by Sheldon. I did include another animation which is from a CA basic animation which is just changing this guy's super wheels position like horizontally just creating a wrong password effect for example when you type in your password in some website I think they kind of have this effect to shake it um, basically these are the two animations that I, I applied as I mentioned you can see all the a b c d e f dot json file this json file on the left side is basically the resources for the animation. I mean, if you open this file, it's meaningless. At least I cannot understand. But this could be exported by After Effects and from your UX designer. This project, I actually directly downloaded from the GitHub page from Airbnb. I'm going to give you the link, of course, in the video description. But if you go to this project, if you clone or download into your local machine, you can open this project. So if I run project again, of course, I did some modification. But basically, this will be the project after you download. And actually, if I rotate the screen, and basically, this project will give you all the ideas. Uh, I don't know what this is about. This is a keyboard that I was using. But the thing is, I override the actions for the close button. So nothing will happen when you click close button, but hiding those elements because I, I was trying to use this view. But one thing to note is that this view is like a text field, but it's not. It's actually a collection view. So that's why each view will carry a single character as well or a cursor to indicate you can type anything here. If we run our project, project again you will be seeing other options like transitions. This is a transaction to switch to different view controllers. I think they might be having a bug but uh, they also include this um, pretty sweet like button as well as the toggle. So all these are included in the resources or the readme files. You can easily check how to use them. This one is quite interesting. This boat on the sea, I guess, is actually a downloading indicator. If, if you start downloading some files, you can apply this animation to your project. But it's kind of limited to me. But as mentioned, I was using this animated keyboard. Yeah. If you guys are interested, I can show you a little bit of the code I applied. The only part I need to show you guys is actually the shaking animation that I applied there. Basically, this shaking animation is defining a CA basic animation with key path position. In Objective-C, you need to define the type first and then define the animation with key path. And you can define the shaking duration. You can define how many times you want to repeat this animation. And also, you can, you can choose auto-reverse or not because we're only shaking from 10 off left of the center to the right. But because we have this auto-reverse turned on, it will shake from left to right and then come back. Basically, it's going to do four times here. 
and also at the end of the day you need to add this animation to your text field which is just this fake collection view so as i said feel free to download this whole thing and don't forget to give them a star like i just did here and i think this framework is quite interesting and even if you don't have ux designers that support you you still can take advantage of the easier way to apply those animations especially for the simple code you can use CocoaPod to install it and to use it it's really simple you just create a lot animation view and add this sub view to your current view and then just play it and it will do the job for you as I said, I will upload those things into my GitHub repository. As you guys can see here, I already got 50-ish followers. Big shout out to these guys. And I also hosted a lot of repositories. Uh, whenever I made a video tutorial, I always upload whatever code I've written here. So you guys can download or work it whenever you need it and also i recommend you guys to follow me on my facebook group yeah i already have around 500 people liking this page so i hope to see you here as well by the way big thanks for all you guys for 3000 subscriptions for my youtube channel just keep your awesome job make the best app i always believe in you guys and i think we together can make ios better by creating better apps all right see you guys next time peace